What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'll be showing you a cool alternative to your control center. Instead of pulling this down, um, actually it's just this one, instead of just pulling this down for your quick toggles and whatnot, it's going to actually replace it with an iOS style slash Android hybrid control center that you can pull up from the bottom. Which is uh, a lot more convenient because it uh, has a lot more and I kind of like how it works on iOS a little bit better but it still looks Android inspired so you'll see it right now it's called a uh, iOS control center quick toggle and it's available on Google Play so let's just go through the settings real quick so there you go I just brought it up let's bring up the settings though uh, you want to enable obviously uh, you can choose to uh, kinda change up the uh, the hotspot area, you can uh, center it, you can see it down there, it's moving right, left, I like it left so it doesn't have to, you know, doesn't run into any conflict with the uh, soft keys, so I have it down there to the left, you can change the width and the height and stuff, so you can do that, uh, you can take off the arrow, see down there, the arrow's there now, you can take it off, it's a little bit cooler when it's off, um, you can also set up the toggles, hold it down, and from here you can actually uh, move them if you'd like, reorder them, or you can uh, take them or deactivate them. But you have to have at least six. So I have two down there that I'll actually probably bring up here. You just hold them. Uh, so there you go, that's basically the quick toggles that are, uh, that are up here, up at the top. And you can just switch them on and off easily with the control center. Then there's a uh, the ability to add a uh, lock uh, screen lock ability you just have to enable this and you'll be able to actually uh, lock your screen with the new uh, little feature down here the little lock that will not be there unless you enable that feature um, also if you have a uh, something other than Google as your uh, search assistant then you can change it here but if you're running a Nexus and you're running a Android KitKat then most likely you're using Google um, there's also the ability to uh, to just completely disregard the hotspot area and use your soft key, home key, double tap it and it'll bring up the control center. Uh, to do that you just go right here and you have to actually activate it. And um, the only issue is sometimes it gets a little bit glitchy when you're hitting the home key and sometimes I get just a blank screen. So I, try, I tend to avoid this feature completely. Maybe an update will uh, you know, tweak it and make it a little bit better. Um, and then you can just decide to hide the hotspot completely. I mean, as long as you know it's there, then it's all right. So let's take a look at the actual control center now. Uh, right here, you can uh, search with Google. You can lock your screen. You can bring up the settings, system settings, camera, web, and then there's the torch, which doesn't matter because your Nexus doesn't come with a torch. And then you have your basic uh, adjusting the brightness and you can adjust volume as well. Also, this is the coolest one. You can uh, bring up a list of quick app, sorry, you can bring up the quick app launcher where you can uh, sort it by all, it's alphabetical. You can just do recent or system. So it's cool, it's definitely uh, a lot better than sliding up. I just like doing this. It looks a lot cleaner and it's, as I said, it's more of a hybrid of iOS and Android, if you can notice that. Uh, check out the full article on Nexus 7 Softmodder, like, Comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.